Hey everyone, just for this to work, you will need to download the Area Actions mod. If you do not download this mod, th this tutorial will not work and function properly. Hello everyone! One second, I need to cough. <coughs> sorry about that. Um, my voice is dead. So, sorry about the lack of uploads lately. I'm kind of going, um in between like a hard time in my channel I'm because satisfactory isn't working and before you say well you're playing it right now so you're obviously a liar um I'm just playing this offline so I will be playing some satisfactory for like YouTube tutorials but I just can't play it with any of my friends and the most annoying part is I can't get my inventory so, yeah, my, I'd have to kill my actual player to get my inventory, and then yeah, it kind of sucks. So, this is all because of the offline connection thing. If you guys know how to fix this, please tell me in the comments down below. And while you're down there, please like and subscribe. So let's dive right into the video. So, the area actions mod. Um, I have, oh, actually I have some stuff in my inventory. Um, I don't have the actual tablet. I probably should have gotten that. Um, so let's say you have a small production line. Like I have iron plate production, iron rods, and screws. All in this little production line. Um, and this is producing like 10, 20 iron rods per minute. Um, 15 plate or whatever these are called per minute iron rods per minute and 40 screws per minute or whatever I don't know um so what let's say I wanted to double that so what I would do is I would go to production and I get an equipment workshop and I am using I am on creative for this by the way using the pack utility mod so I'd go in and I would scroll down until I find the Area Actions mod. It's free, it doesn't cost anything, so you could just get it instantly. So let's equip that. The first thing that I want to do is equip that in my slot, hand slots. If you right click, uh, so it gives you a small tutorial, um, but we're not going to do that, because, yeah. So you do, you are able to fly using the mod. I can disable flying, but I'm using the fly from the pack utility mod. So if I were to back, wee! All right, enable flying. Um, I can fly and space to go up, alt to go down. Um, so you, on the bottom you might think. Uh, see the click to place and remove corner if i click right here it inputs like a beacon or whatever and then so let's um so yeah let's remove that so if let's say i want to copy this and move it over here to double my production lines um i would place a corner on each side Boom, so now I have this area selected. Um, and you can also disable, like, how you if you don't want to place or remove corners. You can also um, set, I don't know what that does, uh, sets like an entire floor of your factory, maybe. Oh, yeah, that's actually kind of cool. Um, and yeah, you can also clear all your markers using this. Um, and then also set the top. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. But I'm just going to select this building. And can I, I don't know how to do that, so I'm just going to place and move corners. What the heck am I doing? I obviously am not qualified to teach this. Um... So yeah, I will be making a part 2 to this video once I do learn how more with the Area Actions mod, so be on the lookout for that. So, once I have what I have, um, the area that I want selected, 
I can right click and click on copy and paste. And then a foundation is eight meters. So this is three foundations. So I'd want to do, if I'm doing math right, if I'm big brain, 24 meters preview. I did that on the X axis. And apparently I want to do that on the Y axis. So let's bring that over to zero. And then Y axis, let's change that to 24 and boom. So yeah, this is exactly where we want it. Note, I'm not sure if this is a bug or not, but it cannot um, copy and paste power lines, pipes, or conveyor belts. It can, it can however, copy and paste um, the other stuff. Like, it can, like, pipeline pumps, pipeline supports, conveyor supports, and I think even in fair lifts, but I'm, I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and do that again because I effed it up. So there we go. So yeah, now that we have that previewed, we can click OK and it copied the buildings. And there is a way that. So, and then once you have it copied, just connect everything. Oops. I'm not going to bore you guys with it. Um, but yeah, you will need to connect everything. So, and yeah, even the configurations. Copy and paste. So, yeah, although, also nothing for mods. I don't think copies and paste. So, if you have any mods, I'm not sure. It could be just that mod, but I'm not sure if that will copy and paste, so... You guys tell me in the comments below. Um, stuff. Crap, what was I going to say next? Oh yeah. So, also, if you want to go, there's negatives. If you want to go into the negatives, you can. And that's how you go into a different direction. Okay. And so yeah, now I just tripled my, um, whatever it's called my production lines. However, let's say this is taking up too much power and I only want two of these and I want to just take a part and this and like just take a chunk and take it out. So I'm going to take a corner, bring it over here. So you could place all the corners and then mass dismantle. Are you sure I want to dismantle the selected area? Yep. Um, nope. And so yeah, now that entire area is gone. So it allows you to dismantle more than just 50 um, buildings at a time, or 50 objects at a time. And if you're doing copy and paste, um, boom, boom, boom. Okay. Copy and paste. Um, there are, you always, if you're doing it on a survival world, you want build cost to be enabled. That's just something that I forgot to tell you guys. And the reason why, if you guys see me doing it without the build cost in YouTube tutorials, is unless I say otherwise, most, if not all, all, all of my YouTube tutorials will be on the creative using Pack Utility Mod. And if this video gets five likes, I'll have a tutorial for pack utility. So yeah, there you guys go. Quick, easy tutorial for the basics of the area actions mod. I'll have an advanced tutorial coming out sooner once I figure out um, more stuff, I guess. Um, but yeah, please like it, subscribe and comment down below do you want to see more tutorials um and if so what tutorials would you guys have interest in and all that kind of stuff and also please if you guys do know how to fix the offline session glitch 
tell me in the comments down below too, but we'll just put that in there. Wait. Do you guys see that? Huh. Weird. I, I'm going crazy. Huh. Bye! Yeah.